Elizabeth Montgomery's untold truth revealed. Elizabeth Montgomery wasn't just a charming witch as depicted in a role in the American fantasy situation comedy, Bewitched, from dealing with a father who coveted her fame to three failed marriages and tragic death, her personal life was filled with struggles. Find out what happened behind the scenes in this video of Elizabeth Montgomery's untold truth revealed. Elizabeth Montgomery's early life. The American actress was born in Los Angeles on April 15, 1933. Her Hollywood career was off to a great start because her parents were famous industry figures. She was able to make a name for herself. Her father, Robert Montgomery, was a renowned film actor, director, and producer, while her mother, Elizabeth Bryan Allen, was a Broadway actress. Elizabeth made her first television appearance in the series, Robert Montgomery Presents, which was hosted and produced by her father. The play Late Love was Elizabeth's first role on Broadway in 1953, which earned her a Theatre World Award. After a decade of appearances and starring roles in various TV series and dramas, she kick-started her greatest career feature, the television series Bewitched, which aired on ABC for eight seasons from September 1964 to March 1972. Despite the sad ending of the show, it was her biggest career success thanks to her character, Samantha Stevens. In this role, she was nominated for five Emmy and four Golden Globes. Besides playing the leading witch, Elizabeth Montgomery also acted as Samantha's cousin, Serena, a character for which she received a credit as Pandora Spox. Father Complex may have played a role in her failed marriages. She seemed to fall for bad guys which could have been a way of turning against her father who often belittled her. Maybe she wasn't entirely to blame for her failed marriages and scandalous life. Her three divorces can be attributed to many issues in childhood and a complicated relationship with her dad. Her parents divorced when she was a little girl, leaving her devastated. She blamed her father, Robert, and struggled to forgive him since he abandoned her mother for another woman. On December 9, 1950, Elizabeth Buff Grant Harkness became his second wife, only four days after finalizing his divorce from Alan. Despite giving her daughter leading roles in Hollywood films, Robert was her biggest critic. He always found fault in her. Perhaps he was envious of her talented daughter because she was poised to gain more success in Hollywood than he ever could. As a result, Elizabeth Montgomery suffered a father complex and ended up passing it on to the many romantic partners she had. Elizabeth generally preferred older men. As a young actress, Elizabeth was fond of older men. However, she suffered physical and emotional pain in their hands. Her first marriage to the socialite Frederick Gallatin Cammon, who was almost 10 years older than her, barely lasted a year. Frederick wanted Elizabeth to be a full-time housewife something that she couldn't afford to do at the peak of her acting career. Elizabeth may have gone through marital abuse that was swept under the rug. A few years after divorcing Frederick Cammon, she got herself into another romantic entanglement with an American actor, Gig Young, who was almost as old as her father. This was probably the worst marriage because Young was a drug addict who was also struggling with mental illness. Leaving this marriage was one of the best decisions that Elizabeth made. Gig killed his next wife with a gun and committed suicide afterward. Cheating Scandals and Divorce with William Asher Her third marriage with William Bill Asher, which ended in 1974, resulted in three children. Throughout the Bewitched series, Elizabeth Montgomery allegedly cheated on her husband, William Asher, the director of the comedy. This may have led to their separation as the sitcom came to an end, but how true was this rumor? Perhaps a few facts can clarify this. Elizabeth Montgomery rose to fame after earning top awards. Following a few appearances in the Bewitched series and other top-rated films, even though the Bewitched comedy was associated with many vices and controversies, it gained a huge fan base and a fair share of critics. Outrageous speculations emerged after it was canceled. As the show came to a sudden end, the public could sense something was amiss. Elizabeth Montgomery's Charms, A Blessing and a Curse It was clear that Montgomery had no enthusiasm in the eighth season of Bewitched. Apparently, she was looking for a new experience. At that time, she had a secret lover on the set, and this explains the end of her marriage to Asher. 
Elizabeth Montgomery was one of the most attractive women during her stardom in Hollywood, which was beneficial to her career, but an obstacle in her marriage life. Many celebrities like Gary Cooper, the actor, Elvis Presley, the singer and actor, and Dean Martin, the comedian, desired her. When Richard Michaels became a co-director in Bewitched, word had it that he and Elizabeth connected instantly and started a secret romantic affair. As the series continued, their relationship burgeoned as the two were deeply in love while still legally married to their spouses. The news of their affair blew up and Elizabeth Montgomery divorced William Asher. Similarly, Richard's marriage ended the same year. The scandal sealed the show's fate, especially because Elizabeth was bored with the Bewitched series. Why Elizabeth Turned Down a Fortune by ABC Shockingly, Elizabeth disclosed how much she hated her character, Samantha Stevens, after the eighth season. She confessed this during an interview at Fox News with Herbie J. Pilato, the talk show host. As soon as her contract for the Bewitched series ended, ABC made her a generous offer, but she rejected it. Her main reason for leaving was that she was fed up acting as Samantha Stevens. She didn't want anything to do with this character. Bewitched progressed to seasons 9 and 10 without Elizabeth Montgomery. At the same time, her marriage to Asher began to hit the rocks. The show ended in 1972, and the couple divorced in 1973. Fulfillment in her last marriage Her last marriage was with Robert Heath Foxwood, whom she cohabitated with for two decades before accepting his proposal. It was by far the most fulfilling marriage since she had rediscovered herself and enjoyed the peace of mind. Months into her marriage with Robert, Elizabeth Montgomery was diagnosed with colon cancer in 1995, though it wasn't a complete diagnosis. Her busy life prevented her from focusing on her health fully. Shortly after, she started battling severe symptoms, and the doctors said that it had advanced to stage 5 cancer, which also affected the liver. Unfortunately, she died at the age of 62 on May 18, 1995, six weeks after diagnosis. This was only 18 months since they officiated their marriage. Elizabeth didn't want to die in a medical facility. She asked her family to take her to Beverly Hills in her matrimonial home with Robert, which was her final resting place. Till her last days, Elizabeth maintained her elvish sense of humor. She jokingly said that she wanted a pina colada cocktail injected into her IV drip in Beverly Hills. Her dirty sense of humor made her stand out. Elizabeth nearly missed out on her leading role in Bewitched. Initially, Soul Sax, the creator of Bewitched, wanted Tammy Grimes to be the lead witch, Cassandra. He preferred Tammy because she had a natural elven look. However, together with Bill Asher, they settled on Montgomery as she was able to take on a quirky character better than anyone else, despite the fact auditioning for the original role, Cassandra, Tammy Grimes did not take the job. The character Cassandra was never meant to be and was renamed Samantha. Erin Murphy, she played Tabitha on Bewitched, revealed that Elizabeth Montgomery was not shy of getting a little dirty and pushing boundaries, even though ABC found some of her actions to be inappropriate. For instance, she refused to wear a bra when season six started. It was evident during the Samantha and the Loch Ness Monster episode when she accidentally set fire to her blouse after knocking cigarette ash on it. While trying to keep her upper body covered, she frantically whacked the fire out while the crew watched her. Her beauty was complemented by a sense of humor and the effort she put into looking silly. She made a strong political stance. In addition to making waves with her acting career, Montgomery sparked controversy with her political opinions. Political sentiments almost cost her life. Her protests against the Vietnam War led to death threats. Also, as a liberal activist, she opposed her Republican father and advocated for inclusivity. After Sargent, her co-star in Bewitched, came out as homosexual, Montgomery supported him during the 1992 parade, which was led by members of the LGBTQ community in West Hollywood. She occasionally got drunk while on set. Sometimes Elizabeth and other cast members, including the producer, got drunk during a working set. The habit became so prevalent in the show that many fan sites tracked how many times in each episode the characters were seen drinking. Since Bewitched was filmed in the 60s, audiences didn't take drinking as seriously as they do now. Today, alcohol is not tolerated during film production by Hollywood unions. Real-life curse or unhealthy lifestyle According to some fans, there was a curse in the real life of the Bewitched crew. Several cast members succumbed to cancer-related issues, including Elizabeth Montgomery, 
Alice Pierce and Dick Sargent. Others died of terminal illnesses. Dick York of emphysema and Paul Lind had a heart attack. It wasn't easy to determine whether these unfortunate occurrences were a result of unhealthy choices or witchcraft. Elizabeth didn't take the War of the Witches personal. It was rumored that Elizabeth wasn't happy with the debut of NBC's I Dream of Jeannie a year after Bewitched started airing on ABC. There was a constant comparison between the two shows. Even to this day, nevertheless, Montgomery didn't show any enmity toward Barbara Eaton. The two shows had similar synopses, including beautiful blonde women with extraordinary powers. Jeannie, Barbara Eden, a genie who lived for two millenniums, was in love with a NASA astronaut, while Samantha Stevens was married to a mortal and together they had a magical son and daughter. At last, both Samantha and Jeannie are remembered for their charms and unique characters. Her nose wiggle was only a camera trick. Aaron Murphy, who played Tabitha in Bewitched, revealed that Elizabeth's nose never wiggled, but her upper lip did. Some fans thought that her mouth moved, shifting her lips sideways to create that wiggle, but the truth is the nose cannot move in that manner since it doesn't have muscles for that. Controversial Acting Roles After Bewitched Montgomery played a series of varied and controversial roles, from a victim of violence to a killer. In 1993, she portrayed a murderer and commented during the shooting that her role had shifted to a different kind of feel. One of the things she loved about the new roles is that they were unpredictable. No one knew what she would do next. In another play, she was a victim of a psychotic killer who spied on her and sexually assaulted her. Later, her character changed to a notorious woman who was accused of killing her stepmother and father with an axe. Elizabeth struggled to avoid the public spotlight. Montgomery never wanted to showcase her private life to the public eye. When she passed on, her obituaries reported that she died at age 57 instead of 62. Some obituaries listed her as single since she had not publicly declared her marriage to Foxworth. Apart from the incorrect marital status and age at her burial, her death certificate also got her middle name wrong. It read Elizabeth A. Montgomery instead of her birth name, Elizabeth Victoria Montgomery. Legacy Apart from being one of the most talented actresses in the industry, Elizabeth Montgomery is remembered for her advocacy for children's rights and the fight against gender-based discrimination. She also contributed financially to HIV and AIDS research programs and volunteered in the Los Angeles Unit of Learning Aid. A statue of Elizabeth was erected in Salem, Massachusetts in June 2006 to pay her tribute.